speech remains as a slave to you, but the moment it leaves your mouth, you become its slave. If you wish to check how much you love Allah, then see how much your heart loves the Quran, and you will know the answer. How strange! You lose a little from you and you cry, and your whole life is wasting and you're laughing. Patience is that the heart does not feel anger towards that which is destined, and that the mouth does not complain. Women are one half of society which gives birth to the other half, so it is as if they are the entire society. Be sincere in your aim, and you will find the support of Allah surrounding you. If you knew the true value of yourself, you will never allow yourself to be humiliated by committing sins. A person's tongue can give you the taste of his heart. If a heart becomes attached to anything other than Allah, Allah makes him dependent on what he is attached to, and he will be betrayed by it. A real man is one who fears the death of his heart, not of his body. When Allah tests you, it is never to destroy you. When He removes something in your possession, it is only in order to empty your hands for an even greater gift. This worldly life is like a shadow. If you try to catch it, you will never be able to do so. If you turn your back towards it, it has no choice but to follow you. Happiness is attained by three things, being patient when tested, being thankful when receiving a blessing, and being repentant upon sinning. As long as you are performing prayer, you are knocking at the door of Allah, and whoever is knocking at the door of Allah, Allah will open it for him. Be to Allah as He wishes, and He will be to you more than you can wish for. From the perfection of Allah's Isan is that He allows His slave to taste the bitterness of the break before the sweetness of the mend. So He does not break His believing slave except to mend him, and He does not withhold from him except to give him, and He does not test him with hardship except to cure him.